All right. So, I am Proreceptor, and we are continuing with the Dying Light series, and I'm trying to get this payment back to, for Rise. And uh Put some hurt on here. Come on, come on. Never mind. I'm just gonna run for it. I got too much of stuff to do. Just hop over this stuff. Oh shoot. Hey buddy. Ah. You a-hole. So close, so close. Move it, move it, move it. There we go. Hey, there you are. All right, here are the blueprints. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. Yeah, me either. If you show them compassion, they will see it as weakness. Take your whole arm. Understand? They give you shelter, bread, women, bullets. You cannot see task. I should send every one of you to the pit. Ah, the tower lackey returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Anderson. I think not. Your loyalty to the tower is nothing but blind obedience, Craig. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine. Like a good little dog. Look, we had a deal. Your people need the antizine. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But a man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here, I will allow you this much. You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. If you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the scorpion, Jade Aldemir, she's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. I would have this scorpion fight for us. I'm curious how long it will take for someone of her caliber to uh, break. What? Oh my god, no. you're just so sick, it, dude. I hear no true conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? Or will you be a man and save the maiden? I think I'm going to put a cap in your head right anything. now. Oh man, I just want to get in there and so bad and you just cut his head off. Ah shit. Move it, move it, move, 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 move. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? What's up with me finding private spots that are so easy to see? Crane here. Report. I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. 
You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this yeah. project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. You know what? Screw fuck you. you, asshole. Yeah, see? We, we're both thinking the same thing. Dang. She's a royal. Mmm. Any guess what happened? None. And our gas man Jeff up and quit on us last week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Maybe, maybe, definitely, and get on it fast. Word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station. Oh my gosh, I got so far to go. You know what? I'm pushing through. I'm getting back to that place before nightfall. Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much Anderson did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... He's... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP. Any of that okay, where do you say? Hey, have you seen that house with the red smoke pouring out of it? If Rise's people spot it, they're gonna come knocking on his door. Someone ought to warn him. I've got enough trouble right now, but I'll think about it. Yeah. What's up? You know Jafar, right? The one from the garage? He's looking for a good runner. For what? He wouldn't talk about it on the radio. I think it's something important. Hmm. Okay. There you go. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Nope. Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Iran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. The I didn't heck? know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatim. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure uh. it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat uh, idiosyncratic. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll learn from uh, from time come to time, on. And the task will be of short duration. They'll Oop. contact you when your assistance Oop, is required. Actually, skip something. Think about it. All right. Um. Ride the elevator up. 
Oh, talk with Rice, huh? He promised me two crates and only gave me five. just told me there's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. I've got to get what little answers and I have back to the tower pronto. So there's 31 people infected and he gave us five. This is complete bull crap. I'm going to go over there and chop his freaking head off. Do you have the answers in? Give it to so me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now we've lost the entire floor, including including a couple of kids. You better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lena. Alright, go, go, go. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, what do you want? Hey, Crane. It's good to see you. What happened here, it's so very sad. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. See what Brecken wants. Yeah, Brecken, what's up? Staring at a white TV, huh? Oh, nope, static. This is where we get the announcements about the antecedent drops. And they just stopped. There were kids in there! Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. We saw all the free one. Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a minute. Reckon these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, alright? There's, there's gotta be another way. A better way. Fine. I'll wait. But not for long. Okay. On, off, on, off. Ha <laughs> ha. Finally, I get to do some actual good. Uh, okay, go talk to the GRE. Awesome. What am I looking for up here? Huh. Oh. Hey, Raheem. Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? The scout found a volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives... Oh, Jesus. Raheem, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. We make a good team. Ah! Shit, oh my... Ah! Don't drop me! Don't drop me! Damn, he drunk. Oh, fuck. <laughs> See? Told you we make a good team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. That, that's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch. Sit on my ass and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die. Well, you could go out and do stuff. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll get look. I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Oh. Just don't fall off. Jump. 
jump. This is Crane. Do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Vice's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldemir would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen, and then, and then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Presuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. Wait, why? Well, you assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Like, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna Ooh, take a good long light. look at it before I decide what to do about it. Yeah. Loud and clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so the short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we should get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay. And listen, Jade. If we don't find that Antizen, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. Alright, what do you want? Yusuf? Welcome to oh wait, Yusuf's he's the person who gave that guy the fake Antizen. Whatever your needs, Yusuf has it all. Yeah, I'm looking for Antizen. Well, of course you are. My friend, this is your most lucky day. No, Yusuf, it's your lucky day. So I'm gonna give you a chance to come clean and tell me where you got that counterfeit junk you sold to Bahir. Bahir? Bahir, you say? Do I know this, Bahir? He nearly died from that phony antizen you sold him. Phony? Are you sure? You're saying it's no good. I just bought ten vials from those guys. I paid good money. Which guys? Well, that's kind of a sensitive issue. Which come guys? on, hurry up. Running out of patience. There's a building next to the drugstore. Jeez, this guy sucks at spilling the beans. I don't know how many. I've never been inside. They have medicines. Some of them are real. I guess from the drugstore. They also cook their own stuff. The guy I deal with is named Bento. All right, now you're going to burn the rest of those vials. But they cost me a lot of money. It'll cost you a lot more if I find you peddling that junk anymore. Yeah. All right. Well, that's been it for this episode. Uh, stay tuned for more. I've been Pro Interceptor, and we are going to continue from where we left off this time. So, uh, yeah. See you guys next time.